welcome to what the kids be saying. I am your host, Esther Brunat, and what the kids be saying is a behind the curve pop culture knowledge straight from a high school teacher's classroom. <laughs> we keep up with Gen Z so you don't have to. So on season three, episode two of what the kids be saying, we're going over three lovely terms today. Let us begin. <laughs> Term number one is crispy. Crispy is an adjective and it is used when referring to a picture that is top notch quality. So if you see somebody post a picture on the gram and the picture quality is A1, you say that is crispy. This picture is crispy. Or you just say crispy. Okay? So it is a way to compliment the quality of somebody's picture. Ooh. Term number two is eight. Eight is a verb. It's a verb that is used to state that someone has done an exemplary job. So if you are scrolling through TikTok and somebody's doing a little dance and they bodied that dance, a word that I defined already in a previous episode of what the kids be saying. When you see somebody body a dance, you say, y'all ate that. So if somebody gets an A on their polynomials quiz, you ate that quiz. Or you could just say, if somebody says, y'all ate. Yes, those are all great words. If you are a parent and the kid cleaned the bathroom really well, you ate that. I don't know if that's proper, if you could do that. But <laughs> you get the point, okay? Um, and then... Word number three is um. Okay, this was a little tricky for me, right? So um is is an abbreviation for the words I don't. And I think it just became like as you say I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. That's how it like that was like the progression. Like it was, you know. <laughs> like people used to complain about the word ain't. And now ain't is a very normal part of our vocabulary here. Um, and I feel like ow is, is, is going to become that. So I first came into contact. Actually, I should say I, I've heard the word, right? But I'm not used to seeing it. But, you know, 2020, the kids don't talk to me. They just be in the chat, right? And so when I was giving my lecture the other day about not cheating and being a better human being, uh, one of my students was like, she sounded like my mom. I don't like this. <laughs> now, when I first read it, I was like, she sounds like my mom. I on like this. Like, and I was like, I sound like his mom. And that was a, like when I'm talking like this. It, and, and I repeated the sentence several times to myself. My, matter of fact, I don't think I fully understood it until I put it on the internet and somebody said what it meant and I was like oh I don't like this oh not not I sound like his mom when I'm like this but yes I sound like his mom when I'm like this but I don't like this means I don't like this did you follow that <laughs> I wanted to capitalize this word uh, like I did the other two words but it didn't feel right in my spirit so I had to leave it lowercase because I'm pretty sure um, you, no one's ever gonna capitalize this word in the history of capitalizations. So, and Gen Z is getting rid of capital letters altogether, which is something I will talk about in another episode. Anyway, that is our last term. So you guys have some homework. Oh, your homework is to like, comment, share, and as always, stay hip friends. <laughs> Bye guys.